In this exercise, we will explore how to analyze the airflow inside the computer case and then predict the operating temperatures of the chips on the PCB. In our example, two PC fans are used to push air through the enclosure to cool down the electronics and control their temperatures. We will begin by learning how to prepare the geometry for a fluid dynamic simulation that will let us predict how the air would move inside the housing. Many of the elements and details of the PCB geometry are not necessary for this kind of simulation. Most of the time, small features have almost no impact on the final results, while they greatly increase the computation time to get a solution. We will also learn how to define and create the volume of air to perform the simulation. This process is also called volume extraction. So let's get started. Click on Browse, select Geometry, and load the geometry file PCB Enclosure Simplified.dsco. This geometry has been simplified to speed up the simulation by removing some details that are not relevant for our analysis. Only the chips, CPUs, and one capacitor have been kept. The small chip connections to the board have been removed, and the geometry of chips capacitor, and fan housing have been simplified too. The small gap between the board and the housing has been filled to eliminate stagnant air and reduce the simulation time. The geometry is not ready for simulation yet. Some modifications are still necessary. As you can see in the stage navigator, we are in the model stage, so we can start editing our geometry. The screw holes are not necessary for this exercise, since air would not flow through them in the real case, so let's fill them in. In the bottom right corner of the window, click on Advanced Selection. Switch to Power Select and enable the Search All Bodies option. Then, select one of the screw holes of the fan. Now, in the Power Select panel, you will see many selections available. Choose holes equal to 2.5 millimeters to get all the same size holes for the entire model. Then use the fill option to remove all of them at once. Close the advanced selection panel. Let's now define the geometry we will use to simulate the fans. On one of the fans, select both grill faces while holding control. Then select the plane tool to create a plane that bisects the fan body. Use the split tool with the cutter face option enabled to cut the inner cylindrical face of the fan. Repeat this step for the second fan body using the same plane. Once complete, delete the plane. Select one of the planar inner faces of the fan grill and start the sketch circle tool. Click on the center of the sketching plane and extend the circle to the edge of one of the arcs of the structure. The circle should have a diameter of 30 millimeters. Go back to 3D mode and pull the newly created face up to the opposite side of the fan housing structure. Then press Escape twice to exit the HUD. Repeat for the other fan. We have now created the hub of the fans. 
Select the circular edges created inside the fans. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste, and then use the fill tool by pressing the F key. Select the two resulting faces of the copy paste operation and use the pull tool to pull them a bit outward. The distance does not matter. The inner face of these discs will be used to define the location and velocity of the air blown by the fans. The geometry is now prepared for the next step of extracting the volume of air inside the PCB housing. This is needed to define the region of interest for the simulation where the air would be flowing through. Under the Prepare tab, select Volume Extract. Click on the topmost face of the housing and the outer face of the perforated side to set them as boundaries for the volume. Then activate the seed face option and select the inner face of one of the outlet holes. Click the green check mark to complete the volume extraction. Hide all the bodies aside the newly created volume. Then right click on the top face and select Face, Hide Face to show the inner geometry of the fluid volume. Now save the model and let's move to setting up the simulation.